Hi, my name is Elisa Bedsworth, and I am the farmer, the Access Farmers Market Manager. And um, this is our logo that we have come up with um, the Access Farmers Market uh, Review Committee over looking at multi working with a graphic artist and going through many different uh, logos. That was the one. It's almost it's almost the correct one. There's a few changes, but we didn't get those. But they're very slight to it. Um, the first thing I want to tell you is that we've set a date, an opening date for the market of May 2014. We do have vendor surveys out um, to ask the vendors in the area, the local vendor producers, what um, would, what day of the week they would like to work on. So right now we have not exactly set the day of the week. We're waiting for those vendor producer surveys to come in. and. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the philosophy of the Access Farmers Market. And the philosophy is, the reason it was created is to reach the individuals and families in the Raytown, Kansas City area, providing knowledge through education, engagement, and access while supporting the local urban agriculture producers. And with the knowledge to provide access to educationally based programs for children and adults adults on food and nutrition, gardening, food preparation, and farm-to-table concepts with engagement to increase the access to garden and farm literacy, giving children and adults the skills to grow and prepare good nutritional food, and access to increase the access to locally grown fresh organic and natural produce, and support to provide access to local growers Supporting programs such as Know Your Farmer, Know Your Food, Farm to Table, and Eat Local, Eat Fresh. And as Steve said, the farmer's market is at 6210 Raytown Road, which is just down the road here. And this is um, the map of the farmer's market. You are looking um, north. north on this with Raytown Road. So the main entry is on the north east corner with also an, an entry here on the southeast corner so um, if you notice the vendors the tents are different colors we actually have seven categories of vendors and so that to designate the vendors we have a vendor breakdown of um, 75 of the, the 75 percent of the vendors are going to be certified organic natural organic um, practice but non-certified organic and conventional growing methods 10% will be processed goods, and 10% will be arts and crafts, and 5% will be nonprofit organizations, such as um, the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts, um, or other organizations that are wanting to give information about their nonprofit organization. Um, <clears throat> um, what we're looking for is community participation. Like I said, we have a survey that we put out through our Gmail account for the producer vendor. We also have a community survey that we're putting out on the Raytown Main Street Association, the Access Facebook page, and their website. It will also be on the Access Farmers Market uh, website and Facebook page. And we do have uh, copies that you can fill out tonight. And we also have, if there's if any, of, any vendors here tonight, we also have um, vendor producer uh, surveys. Um, what can you do? You can talk and talk and talk, word them out, tell your friends that you know we're starting a farmers market in Raytown. Uh, let them know if they're interested in volunteering uh, with any of the different aspects of the market. They can contact us uh, through the Raytown Main Street Association uh, website or through the the implementation, when, once we get our website for the Access uh, Farmers Market set up, they can uh, contact us through that um, or the Facebook pages. You can volunteer. We're currently looking for volunteers to assist with the startup task. And um, I would just like to ask that you would sign in before, if, if you haven't signed in already and you, would, you want more information about volunteering or you would like to volunteer, uh, we have a sign up that you can um, assign in. 
We need your address information. Yeah, we need your address information, your phone number, your email address. Um, going a little fast. I want to introduce. What I wanted to do is just introduce the um, the farmers market review uh, board that we that we have here um, on our uh, our finance. David Eames, who is not here tonight, but his wife Amber is here in the back with the children. Uh, David is going to be doing our accounting and helping us record keep uh, for the farmer's market and probably end up doing a lot of um, administrative assisting for me. Uh, the next person I have on my list is Lori Bottoms. Lori Bottoms is working on the finance and grant committee. And uh, we have Daryl Jones. Daryl Jones is uh, the chair for the Activities and Entertainment Committee. And we have Daniel Long, who is a grower producer, and, and Danielle is working with me on the uh, vendor producer guidelines and applications, as it is John Rabler, who is also a local grower producer, and he is on the vendor producer guidelines and applications committee. Uh, we have Steve Gunther, who is here, who, is, um, who helps us with our organization and Janet Emerson, who is also helping us with our organization. And uh, Tom Bettis has left the building for a moment to run his son home, but Tom is also on the activities and entertainment um, committee. So what we wanted to do now is we wanted to break down into groups. If, there, if there's a particular group that you are interested in working with, um, the activities committee or the entertainment committee, um, we might have a piece of meeting that would come up and send something there that would be important. Okay. Because Daryl can give me an idea. Right, that's a good idea. Daryl, why don't you come up and tell us about the Activities and Entertainment Committee? Okay. Please,